What's up guys, welcome to this new video. As you can tell, we're back at the field for another sprinter during winter. It's still winter, it's still cold, it's still the right season to grind. So for today's session, we're of course going to be working on the sprint again, but uh, more in particularly, uh, we're going to be working on the, the technique of the sprint and also on the, uh, the short stuff. So everything under 15 meters we're going to be working on today. So the starting speed and also the technique of the starting speed a bit. Because I analyzed some videos of me sprinting and I also showed them to some of my friends and to people who know more about sprinting technique than me. And they gave me all some tips, so um, I want to work on that a little bit. So yeah, should be good. Great news. I brought my ladders today so I can do some, uh, some footwork drills also. But that's, in my opinion, a bit part of like the technique of sprinting. I'm excited. So as you can probably tell by now, I'm mic'd up again. Uh, I bought this new mic, if you didn't see last video. Uh, I bought it like a couple of days ago. I think this should, uh, this should bring the content to a next level. So I'm really excited. We're gonna start with some warming up, of course. The field is really, really hard because it's still a bit frozen, but that's okay. Just a normal warming up, focusing, of course, mostly on the legs, uh, but also on the hips and on the glutes a lot. Let's go. I did a leg workout this morning, so the legs are feeling a bit heavy today, but that's okay. I had some tempo back squats this morning, so my quadriceps are really, really tight right now. Okay, so that was a, a quick little warm up. Of course, I'm not completely warm yet, not completely ready to start sprinting, but I like to do a little warm up and then directly go over to the to the ladder drills because it's something that really warms me up as well. So let's go. So last time I forgot these at home. Luckily this time I took them with me. Okay, so let's just start pretty easy. Just two feet in one box and then go to the next one. I'll start slow and I'll pick up the pace towards the second and the third rep. So then my favorite one, two steps per box. You go two boxes in front, then you go one box back. So you go plus two, minus one, plus two, minus one. And it'll all make sense when you see it. <laughs> Giving some extra blood to my lower legs before I actually start sprinting. Feels nice. So we have a couple more um, ladder drills going on. And after that, I'm gonna start doing some rhythmic running uh, combined with some plyometrics for sprinting uh, specifically. So that should be really nice. And after that, of course, we're gonna sprint. Okay, let's do some sideways drills. So like this, standing on the side, two feet in, one feet out, two feet in, one feet out. Again, the same, I'm gonna start slow and I'm gonna pick up the pace. Nice, I literally failed the first rep. <sighs> Fuck. Okay, one more time. Whoa! Nice. Let's do that again. That was better. Okay, so another one I really like is starting from this side and you stay on this side the whole time and you just go two feet in, one, uh, both feet out, both feet in, both feet out, just the whole time like this. Again, I'm gonna start slow, pick up the pace. Stop 
dan een microtje uit. Ja, het draagt, het draagt. <laughs> Always nice to see other ultimate athletes training on the field. Okay, second time this side. That looks more like it. Slow on this side. That's about it for the for the ladder drills. I think it's time to do the rhythmic running and some plyometrics. As an athlete, if you want to work on your speed, you have to do it sport specific. So for me, it's not only the linear speed, so in one straight line, but it's also the lateral speed. So that's what we're gonna focus on today. Plyometrics to help my lateral speed. So the first one is pretty easy actually. You start like this on the left feet, right foot up. You switch explosive and then you push off of your right leg to the side and you land again like this and then you repeat so like this and so on so i'm gonna do it uh, five times each leg let's go the other way I really feel it in my glutes. It's a really good exercise for your glutes. Okay, so the next one is gonna be a bit the same, but instead of just skipping one time and then pushing off, uh, we're gonna skip three times. So you'll start like uh, this. Like that, same principle, but it's a little different. Five times each side again, but I'm gonna do it two, two times. So 10 in total each side. A lot more tiring than the other one. Let's go back. Of course I forgot the water at home. Every time I have to forget something. Sometimes I forget my letters, sometimes I forget my water. I don't know what I prefer. Maybe having to do a workout without water is less bad than having to do a workout without the piece of equipment you need for that workout. Let me know in the comments what you prefer. Forgetting your water at home or forgetting your piece of equipment that you need for the practice at home. Second time. Okay, and then we're gonna add one last variation to it. So we started with just one switch and one jump. Then we did multiple switches and one jump. And now we're gonna do multiple switches and multiple jumps. I'm only gonna do three each side of this, but also two sets, of course. You'll start like this again, do three skips, then one jump, one jump back, and then a third jump back. And then you're here and you redo it again. It also asks some coordination to be able to do this, so you have to think a little bit, which is also nice every once in a while. Three, jump, jump, jump. Woo. Okay, but it feels nice, it feels really nice, that's good. After this, 
can finally start the sprints. Of course, I love the sprinting part the most. So I already did a workout this morning, as I told you guys, a leg workout. Then now I do some speed work, and of course, tonight we're going for a little recovery run. You need to give the muscles some rest as well. Second set, let's go. One, two, three, jump, jump, jump. I don't know if I did two or three. Ah, oh, fuck it, let's do the last one. Oh shit, wait, uh, like this, yeah. Two, three, jump, jump, jump. Now I'm confused again. Did I do four this time? I had to focus too much on the coordination. I forgot to count. Okay, so I rewatched the footage and of course I did two times four, which is never bad. I just did a rep more. Now it's time for the next phase, which is of course the sprinting. Uh, it's also the last phase. I'm just gonna be doing a, sp a sprint of five meters, which equals like five, six steps. And then I'm gonna do two three-point sprints for 15 meters and then two falling starts also for 15 meters. Six sprints in total, let's go. So what I try to focus on in this exercise uh, or like the short sprints is what I uh, told you in the beginning that I uh, re-watched some footage of me sprinting and that my form was not good or not as good as I'd like it to be. So uh, I'll try to explain it with this slow motion video. So here you see um, my feet are going up really high uh, from the moment uh, I start to run. But actually it would be good if the first couple of steps of my acceleration or the start of my sprint, uh, my feet stay a little lower to the ground. So more like this. Um, so I think if you can see the difference between the two videos, you will, uh, yeah, you will notice a big difference. And it's just extra time that I use by taking my feet up in the air and not like almost sliding it over the ground. Um, so I'm going to be trying to focus on that so that my feet stay low to the ground at all times. Let's start with the, with the first two sprints, which is the five meter sprints, of course. I'm going to be sprinting from here to around like here. It's a little acceleration. It's just to think about the technique. Let's go. So during my second sprint, my uh, mic died. This is gonna be a bit of a trial and error process. I'm not the biggest uh, genius with all these uh, technological things, but nevertheless, we still have the backup mic built in in the camera, so uh, no excuse. Let's go on. Um, so I have the, the second short sprint still to do, and then the two uh, variations of a bit longer sprints, of course. Let's go. Okay, so now we only have the, uh, the four 15 meter sprints to do. I didn't explain this really good in the start, but a three point sprint or a three point start is self explanatory, of course, but you just touch the ground with three points. So two feet and one hand, of course. It's a nice variation to do a different kind of start. I'm gonna be sprinting from all the way back over there until the line here on the shadow. I don't know if you can see it really good, but uh, that's how it's gonna be. I'm gonna start two times with the three point sprint. Let's go. Last one. That was it for the three point start. Now we only have two sprints left with a falling start. So with a falling start, you just stand like this, two feet together, you fall forward. And when you have to put a foot, that's the moment you can start to accelerate. Let's go, two more sprints. Last sprint of the day. 
Okay, so that was it for the for the workout. I really liked this workout. It was a really nice one. I have a feeling like my short sprints are going a lot better than in the beginning. So my acceleration is going faster and faster, which is a really, really nice feeling. Thank you so much for watching. Um, as always, if you like this video, please consider liking and subscribing. It's completely free. And uh, see you all in the next one.